nearly two dozen people have been arrested after the state went after a major home insurance fraud ring operating in South Florida. At a news conference Tuesday afternoon, Miami-Dade State Attorney Kathleen Fernandez-Rundle and State Chief Financial Officer Jeff Atwater said 22 people were charged in Operation Flames and Floods. That's right. The insurance people were starting the flames, causing the floods. Fernandez Rundle said the group set fires and created floods in a number of homes in the Miami, uh, over in the Miami. Okay, now, at least I'm not the only one that <laughs> writes bad sometimes. Over the last seven years and made billions by filing fraudulent claims. The alleged ringleader of the group, George Fosto Espianzo Jr., a public adjuster. He's an insurance adjuster. Okay? And so are sheriffs, by the way. Sheriffs are also insurance adjusters. Uh, because they're cashing in on insurance. But we'll get into that more next hour. Reportedly, he received 20 to 30% of each fraudulent claim. Espinanza and his wife are facing up to 30 years in prison if convicted. All right. Okay, well, this is good. They caught him. But this is the kind of stuff that um, has been going on forever. This is, this is the war of the silent weapons for quiet wars. This is the... Uh, force used against all of us because we're just cash cows and in order to get us to produce we have to be prodded with a cattle prod from time to time to get us to uh, into action so these attorneys can basically cash in on the back end we want you to know these things and, and you know this is why we're here okay and with that being said um, I've got Tammy Peppermint here with me here to help uh, fill in some of the holes and uh, try to give you, you know, the story uh, from her perspective and make it as clear as possible. Tammy, where do you want to start? Well, I wanted to start, and thank you, um, with the arrest made in the home insurance fraud ring. Now, years ago, I had a couple friends, Erica and Jeffrey Henderson. You can find them on my Facebook wall. Um, they're friends of mine on on Facebook, and um, they had witnessed the sheriff office out in California igniting the wildfires by throwing flares into dry grass and abandoned homes. And upon this, Jeffrey had video evidence. The video evidence was taken by local law enforcement, of course, and all of their children had been taken off of them since that date. The, the, this is being recorded. You are you operating see? under the color okay. of law. No, uh, no, no you those can't. are my children. Under Title Twenty Four of the of the of the United. Why would somebody call and say you're abusing them? Uh, that's Ma'am? none of your business. It is my business. No, it is not. I need. No, your... it is not. I can't give it to you until you open. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. You can't beat on my door and, and draw a gun on me and say you can't give my badge number. If you kick the door open, you will be sued. That is my violation of my rights. I have not done anything wrong. You can't come to my door and beat my door down. Title 24, 1983. I want everybody's name and badge number. We're going to need a list. You too. Move, move the shield a little bit, please, sir, so I can get your face. I want badge numbers. You have no authority here. In 56. I can just write them down. I would like to know your name and badge number now. Refusing to open the door is not breaking the law. Where's the warrant? Where's the warrant? We're not breaking the law by refusing. There's no warrant. There's no warrant. You have no warrant. You have to have a warrant. That's the rules. And trying tricks like saying, do I have a gun, is really, is really terrible. When I'm saying, hey, look, you got a gun. I'm not going to step outside my door. And then, oh, you have a gun? No. I have this recorded. Do you see? Hello? That kind of stuff doesn't work on me. Hello? What's that? You understand that we're the police and we're going to help you guys out? Of course I know that you're the police. You have a police officer uh, uniform on. I should hope you're the police. 
Okay. Okay, hang on a second. Some it's the county. Hello. We. Are you here as a peace officer yes. or a law enforcement officer? Hold on, please. Are you operating as a police officer or a law enforcement officer? We're here to make sure that everyone inside is okay. Uh, everyone is okay. Are you operating as a as a as a peace officer or a law enforcement officer? Okay, apparently we didn't go to the same law school, so I'm not quite sure. Rio Hondo, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, a couple a couple of months ago. Uh -huh. Sir, what's your name? Sir. My name is Jeffrey Pierce Henderson. And I am lawfully abiding in this home, and I need a warrant before I open the door. That's the rules. In order to come into my home, you need a warrant. That's the that's the Bill of Rights. Jeffrey? Yes, sir. Did you step out and talk with us? No, sir. Uh -huh. I am safe in my abode. This from the fraud department. Uh, resulting in, oh, as, uh, from the, that case, the that I Right, and, and we have problems with our neighbors. We have very uh, extensive list of problems with our neighbors. Right now, we're fighting an unlawful detainer. So what, what, right now, I've had to sue. Oh, I've had to sue my neighbor uh -huh. two doors down in small claims, and We've been called on, C CPS has been called on us before, and what happens is, they ask us to come outside.